the wick poppers. There's a whole series of very smart semi vertical gardens. Wick must be an oil base now because um, not much in the way of cod fishing going on from here I don't think anymore or anywhere else for that matter except Iceland but Wick's actually quite grand those two places for one. sale there you are you can see the next village up from this one there's the sign there's John O'Groats 16. Oh, we're approaching the wilderness of John O'Groats now. This is the, the heathland we're driving through, the wilderness. And there's a peat bogs and things. Look like there's some excavation up around here behind us. I won't photograph it because it's now a quarry. This is where we are. Here's your actual peat bog that the locals would have excavated for their peat. And there's an old crofter farm, might be just for peat, for pot plants. There's miles of it and trenches all through it. On its head. John O'Groats not far to go. I'm just commenting that all the way across France and here we've got bales of uh, straw from one end of the world to the other. There's a healing coo. Moo. Like a dog. And up there's your farmer beating his straw. And if you're swinging around, yeah. you can see his beaters. Can't get the other one yet. Yeah. Can't get a silhouette. Lift these beaters up. Armor, making hay while the sun's well, not really out. Can't see him. John O'Groats because John O'Groats is the town and it's just back behind us. So we're now heading for the northeast and most bit. We might see a whale or a dolphin, do you think? Looks a bit misty. couple of miles. That's your lighthouse. A few white caps on the ocean.
sharply defined bird sawing nesting. Yeah, we, we're picking up satellites. We had 12 satellites. You don't often get all the satellites. They keep disappearing. They're all on the horizon. Yeah. And disappearing into the mist. mist. Another one going along towards the stacks of Duncan's Bee, which keep peeking, peeking out in the mist. So, about a hundred metres down, I'd say. Very spectacular, and the sun has just peeped out for a moment. There's all the horizontal ledges have been worn away down here. There's an arch around the corner. I had to climb out over the fence as usual. Be a great climb. Sun's come out. Beautiful afternoon. Maybe it'll stay like this a bit longer.
that, that stage, if it, if it falls off the cliff, it may well die. Right. Because um, they, um, they, uh, they're just not strong enough? Or? No, if it falls off the cliff and it's here and it's without it, it's flying. Yes, the present day gal is called Skewers. The present day gal is called Skewers will drown in the ocean. First, you will abandon. making hay while the sun shines with his, his um, beaters oh, yeah, beater type things just turning it all over so hopefully when the Sunshine was so close before. This is a tourist part of the mall. Well, the tourists have their photos taken. Over here is where one poses. Here's their little harbour. Everybody's having their photograph taken, but not the quite not the northern part, part northernmost point, and not the north. photography box here and he'll put your put your name up on the plaque your names and your town and how far it is and the date for a fee and there's Duncan's be head on the, the right and that little insert there is where you are, which is a long way away from the tip. Johnny Great. This is in Gills, which is the ferry terminal for the Orkneys. And we're just going to go back around here and have a look at the terminal. There's some lovely Hey in the sunshine. We do find ourselves in some silly places, but the little lady we just passed back there said you just follow it round and it goes up. She said it's not much of a road, but it joins the other one and then you're nearly there. Bill keeps doing these turns. And there's the ferry terminal. up at the main road. Now we'll just go down to the ferry terminal. The island out there, you can see it on the video, it's strong. Here's the mighty dock. Here's the mighty dock.
dock is actually either a sunken tanker or a sunken dry dock. Baby lock. This is a baby lock just coming down to a place called Ham. And it's near Dunham Head, which you can see over there, which we've just dropped down to the valley so we can't see properly anymore. It's a huge farm complex here, we're just going to go around. This is a little scenic coastal route. Miles of fish on this road too. Like an old remains of an old fort or that's something. Yeah, that's old and there's the farmhouse. Amazing yeah, retaining that. walls. And the um, farms. The fish traps. Yeah, this has got to be a the remains of an old fortressy thing. Yeah, the old barns. And last year's unused hay. piles of those. This is on the way out to Dunnett Head. Let's uh, assume Dunnett Head's around a bit further. got a little lock here above higher, it's a few metres higher than the, oh, than the other one where the other way. guy was fishing oh. yeah. and looking out west to the ocean. Oh. I think when we get to the top you'll the be distance. able to see down on all the seven o'clock in the evening and the sun is coming through the upper windows is it it's, it's stopped shining darling oh, it's just gone behind a cloud bill there you go basking in the sun at 7 p.m at 58 degrees 
16 latitude, 58 degrees 40 at Dunnett Head. We're just down here. There we go. We were over there. Well, I think the sun might have gone for the evening though now. That's our caravan spot. And there's a lovely beach. The birds nesting in the dunes and in the caravan site. We have to watch out where we walk. This is done it. Well, we've done it now. Now we just lost each other for a moment. And the sun's still out, it peeped through for a moment. And there's dogs running around the beach at low tide. It's bigger than Kay's Beach, this one. So now we'll sweep around here. The sun is shining out there in the ocean. And some people have got, oops, some people have got some sailing boats for sailing, sailing on wheels on here. And there's some very fancy caravan rigs back there. Nice new shiny rigs towed by Volvos, four-wheel drive Volvos. Like last night they had the VW Touregs Tur 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 and large Range Rovers. Well, we're now Wednesday morning at Castle Hill at the other end of this long beach at the little harbour. And the harbour is all built out of the flagstones. And the flagstone industry was here centuries ago. And they had a windmill. And there's all the flagstones there. And they had a windmill which was used to power a saw to cut the flagstones up. And it's rained a lot of the night and all morning. So we've abandoned camp. Ten o'clock now. 1825 was the flagstone industry. Plus a bit of fishing on the side. Here's some of the fine flagstone used in a wall construction around a church. And when you dig a trench through here, you dig up flagstones. And there's a wall, remains of a wall, there's lots of walls around with very fine bits in it. Flagstone roof. An old house. Amazing. Here we are, Peter's coming into modern downtown scrap stuff. Here's the Scrabster Harbour. That's the life boats and the ferries heading off. Here we are heading west from 
feathers are on Scrabster towards the tongue. But the mist is doomed so we can't see anything. And Matt said we wouldn't see anything if the mist was doomed. catching the breeze. Yes, he's doing all right. There we go. We only get half a windmill in the wind. The mist is doom. The mist's not quite as doom as it was. Traffic on the road, even across the north of Scotland. Whoa! Well, that place up there was called Crask. I think yeah. this is Strathnaver or something, is it? No, we're back on passing places. church site here at Strathnaver and in the 1750s they had a church here and it was built on a site where there was a church from the 1220s when you look at the gravestones they're 1950s but here's one from 1790 so the Scots got way up in this part of the country it's amazing in the 12th century and the Strathnay was a ship that Mary sailed to England on whether there's very much mention of it here we'll find out lots of Mackays etc but this is going to close soon it's the story of our life this too is an antique too I think yeah, this certainly is yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and the history of the crofters and and how they shoot.